So there is a, a, a sense of uh, pre and mortar still relevant because it provides immediacy, it provides ability for the consumer to browse, discover products, try something. So this fact is not, has not escaped, in fact, the e-commerce players. The very fact that the giant of the e-commerce like Amazon opened brick and mortars. In fact, the latest uh, news is that they acquired the Whole Foods. All right? so, so what makes it different between Amazon who do a brick and mortars versus the traditional brick and mortars that close their shops? So one of the things that uh, generally this is what happens if you do not uh, engage in the omni channels. So the customers goes to your shops. This happens actually last week uh, with my wife. She would like to buy a Skechers shoes. She goes to the IMM uh, Skechers outlet, tried some shoes there, and said, hey, it's cheaper from Amazon, and just order it there. All right? So one of the things is that a lot of the brands and shops, they haven't had these coherent plans about how they manage in terms of pricing, experience, customer journeys, um, throughout the different uh, retail channels. So the, f the first phase of the all retail is basically every purchase is down in the shops. Then people have been talking about multi-channels. I have a website, you can buy it from there. You, you can buy it from our apps. But the problem of that, as some of you uh, speakers have talked about, the data are siloed. You, there is no uh, understanding of the movement of the customers between different channels. So what we actually really need, and this is uh, some of these uh, e-commerce players that go uh, open a brick and mortar, is to create an omni-channel where the customer journey, which previously goes in the one way, now can be tracked across uh, different channels. So how do Cryworks come about this? A lot of the omnichannel players do uh, came from the online world. They build a tools for the um, tracking in the e-commerce platforms, uh, Magento or whatever, and then they build something else to try to track some things on your uh, pre and mortars. But we try to do it uh, differently. We, what we are building here is uh, we are trying to build um, something of a seamless um, experience of pre and mortar retailing, okay, and bring this techno technology to any retailers who like to use it. So let me just play this video. Uh, could we just play the video? Right. So these two guys uh, who like to have some meals, they use uh, our apps to scan and open the chiller. So at this stage, um, they can pick any items that they like. The price is in the app. And when they're done, they just close the door. Just like after taking an Uber, you just leave because all the things is going to be charged to the credit card, right? So what we do have here is a technology to be able to allow consumers to choose, browse, pick the item they like, take it out, look at it, you don't like it, put it back anywhere, okay? And once you finish your, um, uh, your browsing, take what you like, you close it, that finishes the transactions. So, with this technology, we can embed this uh, sensing technology into different kind of uh, display cabinets, be it a warmer, freezer, ambient temperatures, use it to sell any kind of products. This allows your shop to open 24-7, fully autonomous, with less manpower. So the system itself, uh, we rely on the RF technology currently. We are working with other uh, sensing technology in the, in the uh, coming uh, product uh, release. And another thing that we do uh, have is a mini locker module, uh, which is going to be uh, apparent uh, soon. The thing that makes this to be omnichannel is due to the apps. Okay? So the app is the one that makes, for example, Uber different from a taxi. The apps here makes uh, our systems different from a vending machine. So you have seen the guy just now using the app to buy uh, the items on the cabinet. But the same app itself, you can use it for online pre-order. Say you, you like a chicken rice, 
to be picked up on another location. Or you would like to have it to be ordered to be delivered home. All right? So this uh, create your entire customer journey within the same app, be it they would like to order it to be delivered home or in the store itself. And because we have it in the apps, the apps itself is a channel for you uh, to reach to the users, even though they are not in, the, in your shops. You can uh, do targeted uh, promotion uh, or advertisements depending who they are. Okay? And the item itself, is the price is not embedded within every single product. So let's say you, you are selling salads. And you stock it up a uh, couple of times uh, during the day. Uh, of course, the one that is going to expire, as many supermarket uh, practices, they try to discount it to sell it fast. So what our uh, system able to do is to allow a dynamic pricing. I mean, a lot of e-commerce players, due to the use of websites or um, apps, allow, this is a, an example of a price of a water bottle in Amazon. You can see how it goes ups and downs, pretty much similar to how the Uber price goes ups and downs, I mean Uber rides. <laughs> so the thing about dynamic pricing, it is not new. I mean, yes, we think of the Amazon and Uber uh, uh, just do it recently, but if you go long time ago in the web market, there's no price like in the supermarket. You just go to ask the, how much is this piece of meat? So the art of haggling has gone uh, missing for quite a while, but I think we can bring it back uh, through the use of technology. The display kiosk itself uh, could be uh, enhanced even further through use of transparent display to engage the customer. And this way, um, while the uh, component that might be missing from um, usual brick and mortar shop, which is the customer interaction, could be supplemented through the use of AI as well. And more importantly is that whenever someone bought things uh, from our automated retail kiosk, we are not just recording about what is being bought and when. Uh, we recorded the context of the purchase. What is the weather of the day? Time of the day? Uh, is there a public holiday? Is there Sunday? Uh, is, is the weather hot? Is it raining? Okay. And all these uh, analytics uh, could come together in the merchant dashboard and give uh, insight uh, into consumers' uh, behaviors. So here's an example that uh, we have, uh, for example, in the case of FMB. So uh, we stock up some tuna sandwiches and turkey sandwiches. The next day, we stock up five and five. The next day, all of them sold out. So what is the cost of action? You stock more. What do you stock more? Okay, I stock 10 tuna sandwiches and 10 turkey sandwiches. Why? Because you say that both finish, right? But if you look at the data from uh, using the time, in the case that where uh, we do this in one of the location, we notice that the turkey sandwich goes down first before the tuna sandwiches. So it means that people actually prefer turkey sandwiches and only resort to go to a tuna sandwiches after the turkey sandwich is finished. So maybe you actually would like to only increase the turkey sandwiches. Another way to, to use uh, our platforms in terms of uh, gaining insight, uh, there is this a new brand of uh, cold brew coffees uh, in Singapore called uh, Logan & Sons. He, the brand owners wasn't very sure in terms of uh, do the consumer know what is cold brew coffee? How much are they willing to pay for it? Yeah. What do they think about it? So what happens here is that um, they are able to basically um, sell it through our uh, platforms. And there were different uh, labels depending on the different location for A-B testings. Um, they do a different pricing. And then what's uh, interesting about this is that this is a brick mot uh, and mortar settings, right? Because they buy it from the machine. So after they finish the purchase, uh, we send them uh, automatic survey. And the survey basically 
Uh, it's an optional, but if they answer the survey uh, about the cold brew coffee, we'll refund the full amount of the um, uh, amount of money spent on the coffee itself. So there is, in there is incentive and gamification a little bit uh, to try to get more insight for, from the consumer through the mobile apps itself. Another uh, uh, use case scenario that we uh, use through our system, uh, we know our Muslim brothers just finished their um, Ramadan, okay, the fasting month. So what happened is that, and for you that who are not familiar, is usually they fast during the day. And in Singapore time zone, usually the breaking of the fast is about 7 p.m. So what happened here is that some of our um, food suppliers that uh, sell halal food would like to give an offer to the Muslim community. So we do run a uh, name analysis to, on our customer database, do a probabilistic uh, categorization of the customers, those who might be uh, Muslim and not. And what we do is that we do a targeted promotion. So for this segment of group of people, if, if we know that their apps, the mobile phone, are still active during the, um, because we have machines in the corporate pantry. If their uh, phones are still in, in the office, all right, because we have a food in the corporate pantries, we say that, hey, it's a 50% off. I mean, because they say, I mean, they can't go back to have a, family, uh, to have a dinner with the family, so we give you something special. And the promotion is just for this group of people. So these are the things that is uh, what our system able to do. But what Cryoworks do is we build uh, the capability, the system, the technology, the hardware. But what you want to do, what kind of promotion, what kind of things, is up to each brand owners. So we are not operators. We, we are not uh, vending operators. We are not um, brands. Uh, what we do is that we, uh, we provide the technology to allow retailers and brand owners to, uh, to sell uh, more uh, efficiently as well as gaining more perspective about the, having the tools to gain perspective of the consumers. So what we believe is the next generation retail shop need an intelligence hardware. So your shops has to be intelligent. It needs to know uh, what the consumers do and takes and, um, and make it convenient for them. And a mobile post application, basically the apps or the phones itself is a mode of purchase. Okay? There's no need for coins uh, or even credit card. And lastly, it's a backend system that combines all these things and hopefully plugs into the different uh, kind of uh, analyt uh, more advanced analytic systems or advanced uh, CRM system. So um, that's about it uh, that I have. So I'm opening for a discussion and, uh, and if you like to see how the machine uh, work in real life, uh, during the break time, I mean, please uh, visit our booth. Uh, but otherwise, I'll take any questions. Any questions? Yeah. Hi. Yes, I don't know whether I missed this when you were talking about it, but obviously people are scanning first to get into the fridge or mm. the mechanism with the food. How is it tracking the items that are coming out? Is there like a barcode scanner <laughs> or something? Uh, so current, the current uh, um, technology that we use is we use based on the RFID. So uh, its product is uh, uh, using RFID tags to be uh, to be tagged. And another things that we are working on uh, going to be released uh, next quarter is based on weight. Weight has certain advantage compared to RFID uh, due to the fact that you don't need the cost of RFID tags. But there is something interesting about RFID, which I was uh, with uh, the part that I was talking about dynamic pricing. So for example, you have the same SKU of Caesar salads, stock at a different timing. 
you can put a dynamic pricing on all these items and you can even put the price on a function let's say a log logarithmic function so those uh, capability are only applicable for uh, RFID based technology however we do <coughs> working on another sensing technology based on weight uh, to to sell more low cost items and uh, long shelf life item and mind you something th this technology is not just for FMB you can do it for flower toys um, other FM FMCG products as well thank you Darwin uh, are there any other questions Thank you. Thank you.